Good evening. Welcome. Hi there. Good evening. Hi. Hi. I'm here. <laughs> well, He's we're here. He is here. And uh, do join us as we spend some time singing a song of praise to Jesus who is none like any other. like to encourage you with words from Hebrews chapter 12 verses 1 to 3 and it reads and let us run with endurance the race God has set before us we do this by keeping our eyes on Jesus the champion who initiates and perfects our faith because of the joy awaiting him he endured the cross disregarding its shame now he is seated in the place of honor besides God's throne. Think of all the hostility he endured from sinful people. Then you won't become weary and give up. Now, some of you may already be, think be thinking, how long will this quarantine be? 
We've been waiting for quite a while. Tagal na tayo naghihintay. It's been quite a while. And uh, how long before this thing ends? One thing that this verses that I shared to all of you tonight uh, will do is that it will encourage us to keep on running the race. And uh, the writer of Hebrews must have in his mind the idea of a marathon. He was not thinking of sprints. He was thinking of a long distance kind of running, a marathon. And that's why he would say, in this kind of race, we should run this race with endurance. The race that is set before us, we should run with endurance. And I love how the writer of Hebrews um, explains how running with endurance is like. In the New Living Translation, in verse 2, it explains what running with endurance looks like. It says there, we do this, referring to running with endurance by keeping our eyes on Jesus, the champion who initiates and perfects our faith. So in order for us to endure this waiting in faith, as we wait for the quarantine to end, as we wait for this COVID-19 virus to soon be taken away by God, we are to run with endurance. And we run with endurance by keeping our eyes on Jesus. Oh, why keep our eyes on Jesus? I love the fact that the, this particular translation, the New Living Translation, speaks of Jesus as the champion. In this race, we have a champion. And the champion who finished the race is Jesus Christ. So who better to emulate? Who better to look into than someone who finished the race with such greatness? Someone who finished the race as a champion. And that is Jesus Christ. And so fix our eyes on him. Right now, with everything that is taking place, with all that is happening, it is so easy to be distracted. It is so easy for us to be, uh, for our eyes to be uh, distract, for, for us to be distracted, and for us to de de be deviated from our attention from Jesus Christ to something else. Um, we may start focusing on our concerns. We may start focusing on our worries. We may start focusing on our future. We may start focusing on our finances. We may start focusing on the, the things that are happening around us. And uh, we start thinking of throwing the towel and giving up on the race. If we want to run this race with endurance, we need to fix our eyes on Jesus, who is the champion. The writer of Hebrews also says that um, Jesus was such a great example because he focused on the joy that was awaiting him. For the time being, as Jesus was running the course of his race, he was going through a lot of pain. Ang dami niyang pinagdadaan ng mahirap. Ang dami niyang pinagdaraan ng sacrifices. And he went through that. And he willingly went through all the pain and all the sacrifice because he did not focus on those. Instead, he focused on the joy that awaits him. The crown that awaits him. He, he, he focused on finishing the race. And that's why when he, as the, as, as the verse says, when he disregarded all of these things, he received the crown. And that's why he, right now he is seated in the place of honor beside God's throne. And that's where God also intends you and I to be. God intends for us to join Jesus in God's throne. And he doesn't want us to throw the towel. He wants all of us to finish the race with endurance as we fix our eyes on Jesus. And, it for, and, and the, the passage further says, when you think of all the suffering and the hostility that Jesus endured from all the people, it says there, then you won't become weary and give up. So nowadays, um, I wouldn't be surprised 
If right now, pakiramdam nyo, you want to give up, you're discouraged, um, you're depressed, you're, you're, you're losing hope and all, let this be an encouragement to you. Jesus went through all the painful things. He endured all of those things. And that should be more than enough to encourage you not to be weary and not to give up as well. Hey, when you look at Jesus Christ, he finished as a champion, and now he is in the place of honor. Where would you rather be? I'm sure, like me, you would want to be in the place of honor with Jesus Christ. So, once again, let us run with endurance the race that God has set before us. We do this by keeping our eyes on Jesus Christ. He is the champion. And he is the one who initiates and perfects and helps us in our faith. He focused on the joy that awaited him. And so he endured the cross. He disregarded all the shame associated with it. And now he is seated in the place of honor and glory beside God's throne. Think of all the hostilities that Jesus endured. Think of all the suffering that Jesus endured. That should encourage you not to be.
we needed you yesterday, oh God. And we just thank you, Lord Jesus, that you love us so much and that you want to walk with us in our everydays, in the big things and the small things, that you are with us every step of the way. Hallelujah for that wonderful truth. Lord, we just love you with all of our hearts and we just declare Ephesians 3, 20 and 21 over our church family and our online family this evening. Never doubt God's mighty power to work in you and accomplish all this. He will achieve infinitely more than your greatest request, your most unbelievable dream and exceed your wildest imagination. He will outdo them all for his miraculous power constantly energizes you. Now we offer up to God all the glorious praise that rises from every church in every generation through Jesus Christ and all that will yet be manifest through time and eternity. Father, we pray and ask for that infinite power to work within us, that we would draw upon it. We are thankful that you are more than enough that your resources never run dry and that you never give up on us, oh God. And so we look to you, Jesus, and I pray your blessing, your encouragement, your strength and comfort, your courage over your people this evening, over everyone who is listening tonight, that they would know a special touch from you, Lord Jesus that you would come and visit them right now in their living rooms, in their kitchens, wherever they are, Lord, um, whatever they're doing. May they just bow the knee and surrender and offer their lives to you because you know us and you love us and you see us. And we praise you, O oh God, that you are the lamp unto our feet. You are the light unto our path. And because of you, Lord, as we have considered you, we will not grow weary and we will not lose heart, but we will keep our eyes on you. Help us to feed our faith with your word. Help us to walk in step with the Holy Spirit, to be in prayer and worship, to be reaching out and loving one another and encouraging one another. We thank you, Jesus, just for this time tonight to dwell in your presence together as a family. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. With all my heart, with all my soul, I live to worship you. to become weary and not to give up. So fix your eyes on Christ, fix on Him, love Him, cherish Him, enjoy it.